Do you ever feel like your EDC knives and gear are burying you? For years, I stored my collection in a shoebox, but as the quality and quantity of my collection grew, I was looking for better ways to store and even display all the rad stuff that I had. And after a ton of trial and error, I have found the seven best ways to store your EDC knives and gear. Let's jump into it. Our first entry on the list is actually a pretty new entry from NAFSCO. This is the NAFS Burrito Grande. Now when you're considering the EDC knife and tool storage that is best for you, there's kind of three main categories to consider. One, how well does it actually store your knives and gear? Two, how does it display your knives and is that a way that you want to display your knives and gear? And three, how well, if at all, does it travel? And a really cool thing with the NAFSCO Burrito Grande is that it does all all three of those things pretty dang well. Now, knife rules are nothing new in our community. A lot of them are designed very poorly, and I think the ones that have been designed the best are either out of stock all the time, they're discontinued, it's hard to find them. NAFS is definitely bringing a breath of fresh air with the Burrito Grande. The Burrito Grande has 17 different storage pockets with the top two layers being same size and fitment and the bottoms being a little bit shorter and a little bit wider, which will allow you to store things like service items and tools or even smaller knives that might get lost in the bigger pockets up top. Now, one of the big things that will distinguish a good knife roll from a bad knife roll is the coverage you get when you actually roll the thing up. With the Burrito Grande, the bottom flap goes forward. There's actually a magnetic closure, which is really nice. It covers everything you could possibly have on the bottom with a nice clean fold up. That covers everything in canvas on the next level, and then your final roll also covers everything in canvas. And the reason that this is important is that you don't want your knives rubbing metal on metal or plastic on plastic or whatever it may be because it's gonna create scar and scuff marks on knives that you're trying to protect. So we've got good protection for storage. We have the option to obviously roll it up and travel with this if that's something that we wanna do or stow it away somewhere if we don't have a lot of room to store our collection. And then finally, when it comes to display, the Nas Burrito Grande has these two really nice grommets up top. You could do fixture points in a wall, you could hang something off of a door, and this would allow you to hang your knife collection out so that you can select what knife you wanna carry that day and uh, have it all out and visible, which is really cool. As a final little touch, I also really love the placement up here where you can put some little ranger patches and things like that, just to be able to customize and personalize your tool roll a little bit more. To give you guys a good idea as to how these systems might fit with your current collection, we picked four knives to give you some size references. So for our extra large knife, we went the Cold Steel SR1 Lite. This is about as big of a folding knife as you're going to get without getting comically big like a 4 Max Scout or an XL Sheepdog. For our large knife, we chose the Buck 110. For our medium knife, we chose the Kaiser Drop Bear. And for our small knife, we chose the Kershaw Launch 4. Our extra large knife fits really well, both width-wise and height-wise. With a tall knife in a system like this, you wanna make sure that you can still roll and get all the coverage and protection that makes this tool roll so advantageous, and the SR1 Lite still allows that. Our large knife goes in, fits perfectly as we would anticipate. Same with our medium knife. Now, our small knife does have a special consideration. If we take our small knife and we put it in with the pocket clip attached to the pocket, then we can still see what our knife is and we know what we have in that position. If we don't have a pocket clip or we don't use the pocket clip of the knife that we're putting in that position, it does get buried in the pocket as a small knife. So it makes it so you may not know what knife you have in there or that even you have a knife in there. Now at the bottom, you do have some smaller pockets. With our small knife, it still does go all the way in, but if you know you have your smaller knives in those smaller pockets, it could be still easy for you to access those. The fact that all of these knives fit and work really well is just another testament that the Burrito Grande is a great knife roll system. Next up, we have a cool little IKEA hack in the IKEA Eloven system. And I've gotta give full credit to Maurice Moves here on YouTube. He did a video on this recently. I thought it was really cool. I said, heck, I wanna try it out. I ran over to IKEA, I picked this thing up. And I think it is a pretty complete, pretty awesome system. There are a few things to consider when you're talking about the Eloven. And I would say the number one thing to consider with this 
is that the drawer has no stop. You can see here, I can pull it out halfway. I'm not too worried about it. When I get to about three quarters, that's when I really start to get to the end of what I can do. And obviously you want the full usable space whenever you're considering a storage option. I like this though, because it allows you to completely remove your tray and then you can sit it out on the surface that you have your cool little EDC thing sitting on, or you could even set it on top depending on how you're using the top of your Eloven system. Now you can see we've got a really nice spread of EDC stuff in here. The other real cool advantage to the Eloven is it gives you a really nice aesthetic when you're talking about storage. Some of the options that we have are a little more aesthetic than others. Obviously with this, you're also limited in space. If you have a smaller collection or even if you have kind of these standards that you have in your rotation regularly, you can put four or five knives, you can put a couple pens, you know, different little tools and coins and things of that nature. And you could have your bigger collection stored in some of these other options that we have. One other big consideration with the Eloven and Maurice Moves actually mentions this as well. It would be a really good idea to put some felt down in each of these little containers inside because that wood is really slippery. It goes for like 40 bucks or something at Ikea. So it is a really nice affordable system. Another really cool thing about the Eloven is that it carves out some space for your EDC knives and gear. You could put extra gear or bigger knives down below. You could put a organizer and kind of have a pocket dump go on the top of the Eloven. And the whole thing looks really clean no matter where you're gonna put it in your house. So when we're considering the three elements that make EDC knife and tool storage handy or useful or integrated into our lives. I think the Eloven does a really good job with the storage portion. And depending on how you utilize it, it could also do a really good job on the display portion as well. The Eloven fits a wide variety size of knives all the way up to mid to bigger sized fixed blades and has no problem fitting our extra large size knife all the way down to our small size knife. This is the Koenig Safe Junior, and Koenig Safe in general makes some really interesting EDC storage options that are by far the most high tech we're going to talk about, and probably the most secure as well. Another rad thing is Koenig Safe is actually the sponsor of this video, and as you guys know, we only sponsor with people that make good products that we actually dig in real life and actually makes sense. We actually featured this in a gift guide that we did back in November. Koenig saw that, they were excited, and they wanted to sponsor a video. So Koenig, thank you so much for supporting the channel, and thank you for making a really cool product. So this particular one is the Koenig Safe Junior. This is kind of the one that I've been playing around with, the one that I've been messing with. It comes with this foam insert, which is really nice. And as you can see, I got a little EDC spread in here to kind of show you how just kind of a standard pocket dump fits. Now, our good buddy Taylor Martin actually featured this in his gift guide as well back in November or December, and he mentioned that this is really nice because he can do his pocket dump, he can have his knives, he can have his watches, he can have his chapstick, apparently, and he can lock it all away so that when his little ones run in in the morning to wake him up or to come in with a scary dream or whatever it may be, that those items aren't right there on the desk for them to grab. And I think that that's a really cool use case scenario for this. Another place that the Koenig Safe can come in really handy is in traveling or transporting your knives or any other like sensitive gear or whatever that you might have. So I've really been digging the Junior for that exact reason, just kind of pocket dump, kind of a place to store things, kind of a nice place to just kind of lock up and have everything in one place. And I know that Jamie has really been digging the Koenig version one, which is a bigger version that actually has hydraulics on it so that when you open it up, it automatically pops open. He's had that on his bedside and he's really been enjoying that as well. Now, when we're talking about opening up the Koenig safe, that's something that's really neat about it is not only do they have an RFID opener on the top, so you can use little fobs, you can use cards, they even have stickers. So you could have like an item on your nightstand that has a sticker on the bottom of it that nobody knows about and that could be the thing that you use to open up your box. It also has a pin digit system to open up and it has biometrics as well. Both of these safes can be mounted in one way or another, whether that's with a wire locked down or even hard mounted to a surface. So if you don't want somebody tampering with your box or being able to move it, or if you're traveling with this and you have expensive items, you have your favorite knives, whatever it may be, and you're leaving them in the hotel room, you can actually wire that to like the bed or something like that so that they can't walk away at any given point. Both me and Jamie have found the Koenig safe, both the junior and the version one, very useful and just kind of a really neat addition 
to our different EDC stuff. We talk about safe queens a lot in the community, and the reality of it is, is if you have some collector's knives, if you have some high-end knives, or if you just have some valuable stuff that you don't want messed with or you don't want other people getting into, the Koenig Safe is a really great, really cool option. Now, it is battery operated, so you might be asking, well, how long does the battery last on this thing? So if you're getting into it every single day, this battery is going to last you well into three months, and it's going to alert you when it gets low. But the battery can last anywhere from three months to a year, so you don't have to worry about the battery going out on you and not being able to open it up. I have only two reservations when it comes to Koenig safes. So the first one is just aesthetics. Honestly, I would love it if this just looked a little bit cooler, a little bit cleaner. I mean, this is a bedside thing. This is something that you could set out on a countertop. This is something that you're gonna travel with. It'd be kind of cool if it maybe had some like leather accents or just, I don't know, just looked a little bit differently. And the only other thing that I have an issue with is that it charges via micro USB. It's 2023, we all need to have USB-C on everything, and I hate having more than one cord. <laughs> so uh, that would be the only two considerations that I personally would make when it comes to Conan. Honestly, both of those are very small considerations. And I've been talking with Spencer over at Koenig Safe, and we might be cooking up something that looks a little bit different as a little extra special. So Koenig Safes can highly recommend, great for keeping your stuff secure, great for keeping your stuff stored. Because they're a sponsor of the video, they're actually got a discount code for you guys. So if you guys go to Koenig Safe, link down in the description, you can use code word WILD, just W-I-L-D, and uh, you'll get 20% off. A really cool piece of gear to add to your EDC collection. These vault cases are a really versatile way to carry your EDC knives and gear. As you can see here, there's a bunch of different inserts and different ways to carry your gear. And the cool thing is, is they're all Velcro in and out. So you can fix them in any way that you want with whatever type of gear that you're carrying. And the back side of this middle piece here has a patch wall, which is really cool. Again, just a neat little feature that I'm seeing on some of these storage options that I really like. In the center on this particular one, I've got it set up with this mesh keeper to kind of keep some tools and stuff in. I don't know if you're supposed to have this filled with knives, that filled with knives, and the keeper on, but it does all fit and zip, so I found that it was really useful. We actually used this exact configuration when we went to SHOT Show for carrying around all of our knives, so we could talk to people about knives, show some stuff off, look at some samples, all that type of fun stuff. We found it really, really useful. So when we're looking at kind of the, the three indicators of what we're looking for with a knife storage solution, the vault case, does storage and travel really, really well. And it doesn't just end with this one particular type of vault case. They have a smaller one. I've seen a lot of Bally guys use this one for transporting their Bally songs around. On top of that, Vault also makes a faux carbon fiber case, and the really cool thing with this is that it's a lock case. So you can set a code here, it has a key of course, and this is a TSA approved lock. So whether you're traveling with your knives or anything else that requires TSA lockup, Vault has you covered. So really cool system, very versatile. It's kind of unique in the EDC travel and storage space. I think that they're doing a stellar job. As you can see, extra large to small, all of our knives fit, especially with this bigger panel. You'll need the bigger panel to fit a wider knife, like our extra large knife. And the really cool thing is, even with our small knife, it fits in there really well, but you can also see what knife it is. So if you're opening up your case to grab a knife, you know exactly what you have in there. The Holmes and Hatfield Armory is one of the most beautiful ways that I've found to be able to display and store your knives. The obvious thing is the crowning jewel up top here where you have seven different spaces to store your most important knives or store the knives that you want to put on display. Or as you can see, I've got all of my grail knives on display in this particular one, just showing off the best of the best of the collection, really. I really, really love how you can display your knives, how you can pick and choose your knives. And again, this could be the knives that you just wanna have on display that you don't wanna carry very often, i.e. a safe queen, or this could be a rotation of knives that you use the most and something that you kind of wake up and kind of have like that James Bond moment in the morning of like just selecting your gear. Now the acrylic top comes right off. 
Um, that is something that you'll have to consider when you're using this is where you're gonna put the top if you do wanna like go in and select your knives on and off. As you can see, you could also display little EDC tokens like coins or patches or whatever else on top of that that you'd like. And then inside of the armory, you have a handful of knife spots. The top pockets are a little bit taller than the bottom ones, so you will find that there are some knife restrictions here and we will show you guys kind of how all this sizes up with our different knife sizes that we have. And then you have this bigger pocket to the side that allows you to put, you know, an assortment of EDC gear, tools, whatever you may want. So for a smaller collection, this would be great for kind of a complete package, minus storing big fixed blades, obviously. Or this, again, could work as kind of a primary rotation setup where the rest of your collection is maybe in a tool roll or maybe in a different type of storage solution. And this kind of holds the stuff that you're using on a daily basis. All in all, you get 19 knife specific spaces. And then you get this bigger area over here, which is really nice. I think that the Holmes and Hadfield Armory is a great storage and display solution. And really when we're talking about display, I think they knock it out of the park more than anybody else. I should note with the Holmes and Hadfield, they do have different models. They have things for watches, they have things just for gear, more of like a daily loadout type container. So you should check out their website, but the Armory for storage and display, this one's a winner. As you can see, the XL, the large, the medium, and the small all fit really well. There is a consideration that you need to make though when you're looking at what knives will fit up here. And we see it best illustrated in the extra large knife and the medium knife. So with our extra large knife, you'll notice that if I try to put it where the pocket clip goes, it's not going to sit in the holder. You might have to offset the knife to be able to set it on the top. The nice thing is, is that even the extra large knife offset isn't tipping or falling or anything like that. And you can see with our medium sized knife that when it goes in with the pocket clip, it just barely clears pocket clip and knife so that you can set it in there without having to offset it. And then our small knife goes in, no problem. That would be the only consideration with your sizing of knives on the top is how wide is your knife? Where does your pocket clip sit? A quick note on the drawer of the armory. Unlike the Ikea Eloven, the armory drawer comes out all the way and does have a stop, so your door's not gonna drop out on you. And as mentioned earlier, the bottom knife slots are a little bit smaller than the top knife slot. So your bigger knives will go up top, your smaller knives would go on the bottom. So when we bring our extra large knife in, we can see that our bottom slots are definitely too small to fit our extra large knife. And then when we go to our bigger top slots, we can see that it's just barely too small to hold our extra large knife. So something in the way of the Cold Steel SR1 Lite, something that long, is not going to work in the bottom drawer cubby slots of the armory. Now, when we bring our larger knife in, we can see that our large knife also does not fit in these bottom cubby pieces, but when we move it to the top to our bigger ones, our large knife, our Buck 110, fits great in there. Bring our medium sized knife in. Medium sized knife fits great in the lower. And then of course, our small knife fits wonderfully in the lower and we can move that to the upper as well. And that is the Armory's sizing. This Pelican style case with this particular now pack insert is the most knife storage option that we've seen so far. So this particular insert has 36 different locations to be able to put your knives in. And it does fit a wide range of knives. One thing that's really cool about this is if you go with a Pelican style case, this one is a, a Pelican case, but if you go with a Pelican style case, most of those cases are super water resistant, super dust resistant, and they're really secure. So you can close these things up, you can put locks through them, and you know they pack away 36 knives in a pretty tight, nice little package. Now, this particular one we chose because it did store the most knives out of all of the now pack insert options, but you can get a bunch of different versions. This one in particular, I would say, would be specifically just for pocket knives. Storing much EDC here in here would actually be, I think, a bit of a bugger. Like having pens and little pry bars and stuff would just be kind of an issue to get your hand in and out to grab different things and knowing exactly what's in there. We run into a similar issue that we run into with our knife roll in that we have some indicator of which knife is in which hole, but we definitely have to 
pull them out to verify exactly which knife is in which location. Overall, I think that this is a really slick solution. And when we're talking about storage and transportation, this is probably one of the burliest, safest options that you could have for storing and transporting your knives around. So for our sizing consideration with the Nalpak system, we're actually gonna go in reverse order, starting with our smallest knife. Now, you can see that the small knife definitely disappears inside of its little container there. And that's not a big problem because you can see down in, you can see what knife is in there. But I would say that if you have a bigger hand, you could potentially have issue with being able to get your hand and fingers down in there to retrieve the smaller knife. Another really cool thing about the Nalpak system is that it has this soft foam top, which if you're closed and locked and you're moving your knives around, a small knife like this, which isn't gonna be retained immediately, will move around inside of its container, but you're not gonna get any scratching or anything like that because there's no hard surfaces for it to contact and it will stay contained. Our medium knife obviously fits perfectly. Our large knife does come out the top just a little bit, which is totally fine because of that soft top. And it's our extra large knife where we're gonna take another little bit of consideration because this extra large knife is actually as tall of a knife as you would wanna use in this particular system. And the reason is, is that when we go to try to close it, it engages with that foam really quickly and the box isn't even close to closing. But because that foam is so squishy and compressible, we can easily just push down the top of our box and lock it in no problem. And that will still seal everything as well. But our extra large knife is definitely as big of a knife as you would wanna use in this system. So I saved the best for last for you guys. This is my favorite system for storing knives and EDC gear, and that is a big old toolbox. Now, this specific one is a Craftsman 1000 series five drawer toolbox. I like this one for a few reasons that we're gonna be looking at specifically, but honestly, any big toolbox is a great option. Let me walk you through a few reasons why I think this is great for almost anybody who has you know, a good handful of knives and a good handful of EDC gear. So um, we've kind of just set this up for the shoot. This isn't how my box normally looks, but I do use the top shelf for kind of my daily rotation items, for my display items, and then I will put some tools and stuff on the top here. I really like being able to like, you know, have a straw or have like a little honing stone so I can just like touch up my knife first thing in the morning on whatever knife that I'm pulling out. This also helps remind me sometimes of what gear we're testing out and what gear I need to be carrying for different videos that we're doing for you guys. So that's what I use the top of the box for and the box sits open in the space that I keep it in my house every time. Then we start going into the different drawers and you can see that these drawers can hold a ton of knives. You can put boxes, you can put EDC gear. I mean, you could dedicate one drawer to different types of EDC gear depending on what your particular collection looks like. I actually really like to organize kind of by knife type is usually how this is laid out. The bottom drawer is actually a little bit bigger. So you can see here, I kind of use this as a catch-all. So I'll keep like my fixed blades and stuff here in the bottom drawer. And then I also can keep knife rolls and tool rolls. So this is a really cool thing about this system is that you can actually keep other knife storage solutions in this as well. I think this is a stellar system, just depending on if you have the space for it. And that's really where the big consideration for this type of thing comes in. This is a pretty big size commitment on what space you have in your house or wherever you're gonna be storing your knives. Again, it is lockable, so you get a key for it, and then you can drop that down. You can lock and unlock it if you want to. One thing that I also really love about this is this sits in my living room, so when my buddies come over, they always go to this and they start like looking at the knives in the drawers and stuff because I don't have a lot of close friends that are like really hardcore knife nerds, but I have a lot of friends that love tools and love knives. So they always come over and they're like, what new thing did you get? And this becomes a conversation piece, which is just kind of a fun way to like integrate this hobby that I'm into, into like the rest of my life as well. So this is my favorite way to store knives. I think it is one of the most versatile for especially as many knives as I have. And out of all the options we've looked at, you're gonna have the most options for storing things like fixed blades or bigger gear or whatever it may be kind of all in one chunk. You can pick these up for like under 150 bucks, I think. So a really good option if you have a lot of gear. On all the other ones, we've done some size comparisons. You can see that this fits everything. So I'm not going to lay out the size knives for this, but uh, you know, obviously that's like a buck 119 fitting completely across one drawer size. Size, not an issue. 
After years of collecting and wanting to display my knives and EDC gear, these seven are just the best options that are out there. I would love to hear how you're currently storing your knives and EDC gear, and I'd also love to hear which one of these systems you're going to get to make your EDC knife and collection world just better. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.